Um, and I don't think that'll happen this time around. I love the music analogy because if you remember, um, it, it's the funniest thing to think about now because streaming is so tuned to our everyday life. But like Napster existed for about 15 minutes before they said, no, it will not. Um, and, uh, and then we were punished a little bit. We kind of had like a fallback in technology for a few years and everyone got rattled and then eventually came around to what would be iTunes and, and Rhapsody and of course Spotify. Um, and I don't think that'll happen this time around. I do think that probably the, the data gets worse briefly. Um, I, I know that folks were expecting this was coming and I know that Meta um, at least was starting to look and see about how if it had to purge data, how it could keep some sort of ambiguous memory about that data so it didn't lose all of its training. Um, and I think that's really interesting, kind of like that moment of, you know, um, you may have drowned as a, you nearly drowned as a little kid and you didn't, but you now have a fear of water and you don't really remember yeah. that moment at all, but you remember you have a fear of water. And um, that was the, the idea used with some of like that phantom memory. Is there a way to generally sort of remember some of those elements, even if I have to purge that data, which I think is kind of an interesting um, thing to think about, um, how, how an algorithm could pivot to do that.